Right, so we're getting ready to put the crankshaft in the centre crankcase. Um, now, uh, before I'm doing that, what I've done is I've gone round uh, with a tap and I've gone and I've tapped, cleaned out every every single thread in the centre casing, all the gearbox, uh, everything, all the, uh, all the threads have been tapped out and checked. Uh, and so they've all been cleaned out and they're all fine. So I know A, they're clean and B, they're not damaged in any way. And so they're all, they're all fine. Uh, then I have also run a, a die uh, down the main uh, the, the bolts that hold the, the, the main caps in for the for the uh, crankshaft, and I've also run the die down on the um, uh, studs that hold the uh, the cylinder barrels on. Uh, yeah, I've done all the, uh, I've done every single thread on the, on the entire crankcases. So we know that's done. And then I've checked the, these, uh, six studs hold on the sump plate and they are prone to stripping because mainly because there isn't a, um, a drain plug on a, on a triple. And so the only way of draining the oil from the sump is to take that sump plate off. So it's often put on, taken off, put on, taken off, and it's not easy to get two people over tighten these. So I found that three of them uh, were stripped. Um, that one's uh, particularly badly stripped, if I can get it to focus. Nothing left on that, but, you know, the others were, you know, uh, pretty semi-stripped, you know. So... Um, so I've just taken those three studs out and put new, new three new studs in the other three are okay. Uh, and so then I know that's obviously it's been clean, cleaned and cleaned. And then what I'm going to do is there's uh, a few things I'm going to do before we put the crankshaft in. I'm going to uh, refit the uh, main shaft bearing for the gearbox. I'm going to refit the lay shaft uh, bearing for the gearbox, which goes in from no, it goes in from this side. So yeah, and uh, then I've taken the two uh, sort of blanking plugs out from the oilways. Those oilways they're just um, blanks, which they're just drillings, so that the uh, the oil and then there's drilling from here, so the oil comes out. Of the mains so these are just so i'm going to put those blanking plugs back in with new washers and but most of all i'm just getting ready to fit these two bearings uh to do that i'm going to do that before the crankshaft so i can put this in the oven get it nice and warm so it expands i've got the two uh, relevant bearings in the freezer so they're going to shrink and so we can do all that uh, and get to it and do everything which obviously we can't do once we put the crankshaft in, everything's a bit awkward. So getting those that's the last couple of things and uh, not forgetting to put in those two, uh, those two uh, blanking plugs in. I've checked all the threads. Oh, I'm also going to, I've checked that thread, which is a strange thread. What is it? BPSN or something. I can never remember, but um, that's the thread for the, um, oil pressure switch and i bought a new switch from david drew because um, i know they work they work well and so we're going to be fitting a new switch in there as well uh, at the same time just so because because we can get to everything now it's just so much easier and then because when the crankshaft and everything's a bit more cumbersome and so on so we might as well do everything now that we can obviously these two really need to go in now uh and uh yeah so we're getting all that ready and then we'll put the crankshaft in when that's all done. Okay, so uh, here we have the, there's the central uh, casting and case in the oven. I'm gonna, oh, it's beginning to smell a bit. Oh dear. Uh, someone's not gonna be happy. See if I can get that out before they get back. Uh, so that's in the oven. I'm gonna do it up to 180. Basically, I think the hotter you can get it, the easier the bearings go in. Uh, and 
the bearings are in the freezer, so when that gets up to a temperature, I might do it to 160. I might not do it to 180, I'll do it to 160, I think. And then, uh, um, yeah, we'll see how the bearings go in then. Okay. So we've got the, uh, that's nice and hot, the uh, central can case. Obviously, as you can see how cold that is. You can do it with the lettering facing outwards. See how that goes. Yeah. That's great. And now we've got the uh, thrust bearing. That was the main drive bearing on the main shaft, and this is the uh, shaft, the, the bearing on the end of the lay shaft. This one, of course, has to go, just has to sit out at the other end, has to sit proud so that this thrust washer has got something to sit on. But not so proud as that it sits out further than the thrust washer. I think that's pretty damn good. Just checking. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So, um, I don't know if you can, I'll show you that in a minute. I don't know if we can see that, but the, um, I can't see, I can't see where the damn camera is. So, um, the edge of the uh, that needle roller bearing is just sticking out through the casing just enough that the thrust bearing sits around it but without too far so that it sits out beyond the edge of the thrust bearing. So I'm taking the thrust bearing off now and just checking yeah that it works perfectly that I haven't damaged it putting it in. So that's very good. So there we go. That's the uh, the two bearings in that are always awkward. Uh, that uh, main gearbox bearing and the uh, lay shaft bearing. I'll put some sealing at the back of this uh, of the uh, little closed lay shaft uh, bearing just to make sure no oil uh, gets past it. But normally it's pretty good anyway. Right, good. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, wait for it to cool down a bit. I'll put in the two oil wave plugs at this end. I'll put in, when it's cooled down, I'll put in the oil, uh, oil pressure switch and then we're ready to put the crankshaft in. Good, I'm pleased with that. Okay, uh, we're about ready to put the crankshaft in now. The, uh, put the uh, new oil pressure switch in from David Drew. Um, they're very good quality items and uh, you can get ones of different pressure because um, you, when the engine is very, very hot, a tick over, you can actually get uh, the, the oil light can come on and flicker uh, for high pressure ones. Uh, so you can actually buy lower pressure switches from David Drew. So um, you don't have quite such a hard stack because the oil light doesn't come on. This is actually a higher pressure one. Um, with the new mains, etc. I'm hoping that it won't come on with the oil like with, with the oil hot anyway uh and then we put the new plugs in oh um just to mention earlier t150 engines had uh, a taper fit 
And then later, T150 engines have a, a straight fit, and so do T160. Just be aware that there are different uh, oil switches for uh, the earlier models. Uh, okay, and as we were saying before, so I've pushed in the new uh, shells, and you can see there's a drilling, and that's where the oil will come up. But all the shells are drilled, so you can see that there's a drilling in these shells, even though there is no hole. A, I suppose it's probably easier to manufacture doing them all the same, and B, as I said before, just stop someone inadvertently putting the plain shells in there without a hole, and the ones with a hole in there, and then of course the oil cannot get up, uh, and I'm sure it has happened, I know it's happened before, um, you know, people put the shells in the wrong way around and the oil can't get in. Okay, uh, so, and then we've got, uh, we're using, reusing the uh, same nuts, that's okay. We've got new lock tabs for the top of the uh, main bearing caps. The main bearing caps, as we know, they are marked timing side and drive side. And that writing goes towards the, uh, well, it has to go towards the front of the engine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some uh, uh, assembly lube on these shells and uh, probably a bit on the um, journals as well, and then we're going to lift the uh, lift the crankshaft into the uh, into place. So I'll just put that oil on, no, well the um, a lube on, and uh, then we'll have a go to fitting the crankshaft. Right, okay, um, so I'll put some blue ball on the race with the crankshaft in, and uh, all we've got to do is, as you can see, the, uh, the webbing, uh, the flanges on the crankshaft, they're, uh, they're cut, so there are some, so it looks very much like a cut off circle. Now, the, the, and the middle is the same, the flywheel flanges. So we have to get the flaps of the flywheel to line up with the center of the crankcase, otherwise uh, it won't go in. And that's why we can't have the studs still on the center casing, because then when we line up the center, then the flywheel at the side won't go through the studs. So these studs have to be taken out, they are out. So uh, let's see, let's make sure we get the crankshaft around the right way. That's probably the most important thing. So we get the timing. <coughs> Timing bearing on that side. Uh, let's have a look. And then we're just going to lift this into place. As I say, get those flanges so it slides down. And there we go. We're sitting in the, we're now sitting in the center. Okay. Just get rid of those comrades. Yeah, we're all okay at the moment. I'll just give it a quick turn. Yeah, it looks nice, feels nice. Okay, so then we're going to put some lube on the caps. And then we're going to put the caps on. Can't really have too much lube. So this is timing side. So that's this side and timing the lettering to the front. And then lube on this side. drive side and again lettering to the front and there we go the caps are in place so then we put on the strange uh, strangely shaped locking tabs no oh, I've only seen to have got two out and I actually want four the, you can buy when you buy a gasket set you can also buy separately but you can buy a lock tab set and a uh, <coughs> oil seal set for the engine so definitely worth when you can buy a gasket set <coughs> excuse me also buy a lock tab set and a uh, oil seal set right, and then I'm going to put these on but I'm going to put again I'm going to put a, a bit of uh, Loctite on <coughs> I don't put too much on, but it seems to want to go everywhere. Uh, OK. 
Okay, I make sure we're the right way up. I'll say that by which I mean I normally have the lettering up and you can see quite clearly which way has been down before. So they see they sit and seat nicely on the lockdown. Then we're going to torque them up, and then the torque is uh, exactly the same as for the big ends. It's 18 on the mains. Let's double check I do have this on 18. I do. There we go. The first one's gone. The second one's gone. The third one's gone. Fourth one's gone. There we go. Right, we're all talked up. And let's see what we got. Try and hold the con rods out of the way. Probably can't. That feels good. That feels very, very good. That feels very good. Yeah, and there we go. Crankshaft is now in the uh, in the main uh, in the central crankcase. Boom, boom. So next off, we'll, we will be dry fitting the timing side and the, the drive side and the timing side with the camshafts, just so I can check that those camshafts are running smoothly because when I took it apart, I had a slight question mark over the exhaust camshafts. I think it's okay. I think that it was jamming when I pushed it in, but of course it doesn't run in, it runs sort of, it's pulled out by the, there's a timing pinion, so um, I think it's okay, but I'll, we'll dry assemble it, just check the camshafts are all okay. If they are, then we'll take things apart again and uh, then assemble them properly. Before we do that, we obviously have to get the, the timing timing case and drive case ready by refitting the bearings and so on in, in the cases. But first part of major assembly done, beginning to look like an engine already happy. And of course, uh, what I'm going to do now is turn up the uh, locking tabs on the lock washers. Um, now that I know that everything's fine. I didn't do that before because obviously you want to check. You want to turn in the lock tabs up and then finding there's a problem with the crankshaft. But now I know it's turning. I'm very happy with it. Then obviously I'll turn up these lock tabs to hold these um, the bearing cap uh, nuts in place. <laughs> 